All right, guys. Happy Thursday, and we're gonna do some more robot ratings today. We got one from Mike two two four two A, and this is their first cat almost done? And here we are. It looks uh, <laughs> looks this is this one looks not as similar as some of the ones we've seen bef uh, recently, but I'm assuming it's gonna be a change up style like snail intake where it kind of goes around with Polly on the back because he has uh, they have these spin-off supports already so i'm guessing that's very um indicative of what's gonna happen with the the poly ramp on the back and a loop around for a snail pretty nice and i like how they have the uh two sections separately motorized i'm guessing it's gonna be for direction changing for either coming out the back or just direction changing for scoring on different levels of the of the goals. I'm going to give this one a B tier. I think I'm going to agree with the other people. And next up, Carter, 8,110C. I've been working on a Vex UCAD after I graduated high school. Very nice. I like this design. Pretty simple design. Once again, I'm looking at it. It looks a little confusing. I don't know what's... I think it's going to go around. I don't think there's... Maybe there's space back here. Maybe it's going out the back, but... I'm assuming it's coming around, um, but yeah, I think a lot of 3D print parts and looks pretty nice. I'm gonna give this one an A tier. Let me know if it's any needs any improvements. And here we are. The two wide, the two times C channel at the back is supposed to be a three wide. Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, um, pretty nice. I think teams that are going to be using a standoff plus shaft collars on here could instead opt to use a six long one by one because if you're running a like a funneled intake like the, a funnel drive train like this where the outside is one longer than the inside you can just run a you can just run a, a six long a one by one and that would be so much lighter and also very smooth as well so that's a very very good way to cut some weight down if you want to instead of use instead of using these shaft collars plus the Plus the standoffs. Use a six long one by one and just you know lay it out flat like this. I think I think we I use that during spin up for my funnels. But other than that, it looks it looks nice. It looks pretty nice. Although you probably don't need this. Um, I would instead of using this one by one, I'd probably make this a C channel if that's possible, and then you can use one by one here instead because uh, you want the full length cross beam to be a c channel not a one by one other than that looks nice i'm gonna give this one beats here good good start is this bracing enough no it's not enough you need uh once again full c channel across and preferably c channel or through right on the back or you can use a high strength shaft i did not mention that for here if you want to keep that small form factor use a high strength shaft on the bottom that works great as well just draw it out with a with a drill bit that's uh not super large because you don't want it to be easily uh snappable you want to make it um good so i'm gonna actually get this on a seat here i think there's some improvements you can make i don't know what i'm cooking but here's a concept that holds a roll of balls at the same time and uses ratchet to control which one is outtake to the top okay okay i like the ratchet i don't think a lot of a lot of teams aren't using ratchets anymore i think with the uh, introductions of these 5.5 watt motors teams are definitely a lot more inclined to just use uh, 5.5 watts to do their thing instead of using 11 watt and making a ratchet to power two different subsystems I think that reduces a lot of the um, just creativeness creativeness I don't know creativeness of of X but it's cool I, I really like the ratchet systems and what did they say two and two rows of ball or two two rows of balls so on, on right and left that's cool it's kind of like the double play uh, design that they made in the, their robot. They're like, I think we're about in three days or whatever. So that's cool. I really like this one. It's definitely, definitely interesting. I'm going to give this one an A tier. Any suggestions for the current drivetrain? Requires some shaving and stuff, but should have decent packaging. Um, it's also kind of wide right now. What's the width? Let's take a look at the width. What do we think? It's a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, thirty wide. So yeah, that's a, that's a bit wide. I think go for like twenty eight or twenty seven. 
And um, yeah, once again, if you want to run a funnel with intake, I'd highly suggest instead of using these shaft color plus standoffs, which is pretty heavy because the shaft colors are steel, I'd suggest using aluminum one by ones and just do using a six long. And you can even like take a drill and kind of like drill out a tiny bit of the hole more so you can fit it wherever you want, right? That's what I do sometimes. I can just you can just drill it onto the C, uh, C channel or one by one, and then you can have more mounting holes on on it if you want. But yeah, this looks nice. Beats here. Let me cook. Don't cook ever again. <laughs> Flywheel's gonna win this season. Um, let's see. Okay, clearly a cut there. Clearly another cut here, and clearly a cut here as well. But it's cool. And another cut here. <laughs> That's cool. Seventeen game piece max for the for the twelve by twelve inch bot. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> We're about in twenty four hours. Okay, cool. Bam, bam. Very fast intaking and very very clean intaking as well, without using a a tongue mech. So I think I think this might be meta using i think they have screw joints for it so then the bands are just like completely completely free and there's no center shaft that this might be good with no center shaft you might want to just do this this could be this could be kind of crazy so you just kind of intake and then as a huge basket however there should be color sorting there i'm sure they're at, they're at color sorting and this is kind of nice because they can add they can have so many balls in here that's, that's very nice. It's definitely a very, very nice shopping cart design. I'm going to give this one an S tier. Good work. Even though it's a little jank right now, I think it's a really good design. Mm. Interesting CAD. 343 on 4 inch. Interesting. I'm going to give it a B tier. Tried to make it structurally stable. Now the drivetrain, just look at the, just listen to the critique I gave on the other drivetrains. This is nice. This is also a very, very nice design. Well, very, very clean design. I don't know if it's very nice, but it's very clean for sure. Uh, I see you have funnels. Use a, use one by one L channel there. And you have, I see you have all this pistonized. I wonder how, why you have to piss, why you have to pistonize the hood when you already have the, the main sub chassis pistonized. Maybe you don't need to pistonize the hood. Maybe you do. Not sure. And yeah, the rest of this is all floating. That's interesting that you chose floating for this stage here. And not just like rubber bands, you're using flex wheels. Flex wheels are, I think, a lot heavier, but mm, maybe it is. And I'm guessing you're powering from down here. This is a pretty crazy powering spot for powering from all the way down here. Anyways, it's pretty clean. I'm moving an A tier. Okay. I'm working to redeem myself after getting C tier my last CAD. This is our MOA early reveal, early CAD. Another, another snail bot type bot. I've seen a lot of these already. It looks nice. I think I think it looks nice. And honestly, after seeing what I've seen so far, I wouldn't build a like a side by side uh change up style intake anymore. I would build this instead. This looks very nice. And especially with how like imagine because you can just put like a C channel on the side here, like that goes across, that spans across here, and it would be very strong. And then you just have you have a screw joint, no no like um, no shaft in the middle, and then you just be able to grab balls out of the corner so easily. Wow, that's that's very nice. I really like that one. Okay, this one's getting an A tier. Yeah, I don't think you need to have the the side intakes or these these grabbers anymore. These intakes anymore. I think they're they're too. I think they're um out of the meta now, <laughs> out of the meta so quickly, just because they don't have a very good. With, I think, I mean, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with them, but I just think that you can do better now. All right, um, this is the last one for today. Looks nice, at least in the robot, we can hold up to nine blocks and can score on all levels. Very nice, piston nice once again. Cool, I'm gonna give this one a B tier, and yeah, we'll, we'll call it a day. One more thing, let's let's look actually. Uh, I think what you've done here with the with these is not like super clean because they're all high strength shafts 
and you might as well just use up larger sprockets as possible or even just rubber, or even just flex was at that point because like this doesn't really you know give you the advantage that sprockets and bands usually have which is a lot of compressed compression and also uh l makes it lighter so anyways yeah that's it